Guys, when I woke up today, I was not expecting the amount of news that we would be getting in pretty much all things pop culture. We got a brand new trailer for Silent Hill 2, the remake that's scheduled to come out in October, amongst a bunch of other posters for Joker and a bunch of other projects. But today, the one I'm most excited about and the purpose of this video is to talk about a brand new trailer that we got for Tomb Raider, The Legend of Laura Croft. This is a series, an animated series, chronicling the tale of Laura Croft as she becomes a Croft, as she becomes a Tomb Raider. And it's, I think, based on the games that came out uh, a few years ago and were some of my favorite storytelling uh, utilizations of recalling the story of Laura Croft. And, and it was kind of an origin story for her. I fell in love with those games and have been waiting ever so patiently for a new project to drop about this show and this show was announced a long time ago if you guys remember i mean gosh it feels like 2023 2022 that this show was officially announced and we've been waiting a long time for uh any sort of new information for it so we finally got a new trailer the show drops on october 10th and from everything that i've seen so far it looks to be a banger so we're gonna check out the trailer it's only about a minute so we'll do a full breakdown and stuff like that at the very end talk about it some of the things that stand out to me all that good stuff but before we get into that if you guys enjoy the trailer you love trailer reactions trailer breakdowns like me be sure to drop a like on this video so it really helps the video get seen by more people really is a great free way to support also comment down below literally anything you can comment hi if you want and i will be sure to try to say hi back to as many people as possible and uh subscribe if you're new here if you love trailers if you love episode reactions uh, i've really been enjoying the content on the channel hopefully the those of you that have been around here have been as well. Without further ado, guys, we're not going to waste any time. I hope you bought the popcorn. Let's get into the trailer for The Legend of Laura Croft. The glorious return. Guys, when I tell you I've been waiting all year for this show, Sometimes I swear you have a death wish. I'm not joking. We are the same, Miss Croft. We got a trailer for this Everything taken from us. literally like a year ago. Danger is your friend. Run! Much longer. Can you persevere? Bro, that animation style looks so sick. Don't make the same mistakes he did. Oh, I really hope they do Laura Croft justice in this show. Grief, death, and destruction. No. You are revenge and anger. And I think they're doing the origin story like the first game. Let's go, dude. All right, guys. So there you have it. The next official trailer for Tomb Raider, The Legend of Laura Croft. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. So from what I've gathered from the trailers that we've gotten and all the information for this show leading up to its release on October 10th, uh, it appears to be kind of chronicling the origin story of Laura Croft. And like I said in the intro, this is this was one of my favorite aspects of the games and i've been someone that grew up with the laura croft games grew up with tomb raider have always loved them you know even watched the angelina jolie version a number of times over the years and uh i've always enjoyed the story of laura croft being this like badass like tomb raider looking for answers into her past her present her future um you know and, and a character that is deeply rooted in in intrigue and curiosity and those are just a few of the aspects that i've loved about the character so for them to be turning this into a show based on the wildly popular games, I think is really great. And I hope that this show does well because I really want to see a third game. Um, and actually, they already made a third game, right? I'm, I think they already made a third game. I think there was uh, there was Shadow of the Tomb, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, and then the first one, which I think was just called Tomb Raider. And so I'm looking for a fourth one. I would love them to continue on with this story and the show seems to be kind of retelling some of those because i've seen elements as we're watching the trailer some characters seem familiar as well as some of the backstory some of the environments look familiar from from different games as well so uh let me let me bring it back a little bit here and i'm gonna pause it a few times because i really want to break down this trailer like guys I, I can't tell you just how excited i am for this project like it, it you know up until this point we've gotten uh we've gotten slight glimpses you know some teaser images uh some minor footage and it hasn't really given us a lot of information about this show like so i've really been chomping at the bit waiting for just any other footage and so again i know this isn't a lot it's only a minute but i feel like there's a lot that we can pull from that kind of illustrates 
that there's clear inspirations from some of the games. So we start off seeing Laura and what I believe this to be, as you can see, the crest uh, at the top looks like a C. So we can assume this is Croft Manor, which is an area that is of a pivotal importance to the character. I, I believe she was inherited. She inherited this, this manor. And it's through this inheritance that she ends up uncovering a lot of history about her family, about her dad, uh, some of the ex editions that he was involved in and and a lot more so it's it's really like her uncovering who she is uh and and where she wants to take the croft name so i'm a, i'm assuming we're getting a clear look at croft manor here in this particular trailer her opening the door or i'm assuming yeah i'm very much assuming this is like kind of a, a coming home it's our first look at laura and honestly this is one of the best looks we've gotten for the character uh in my opinion and so uh off the jump you can see the animation's solid guys i mean it's solid. It's not like, you know, and this is coming from someone that, that obviously has seen a lot of live action versions of Tomb Raider. This is the first one I think I've ever seen uh, of, a, of a potential animated Tomb Raider version coming out. So, uh, you know, the excitement is very real. And I feel like this is, I always say animation, in my opinion, trumps you know, live action any day. I feel like there's just so much more you can do with, with illustrating a world and characters and getting it exactly right especially when you're coming off of adapting a video game. I feel like just keeping it in that sort of animated style, I feel like is just the way to go. So obviously we see her running away uh, because the life of a Tomb Raider is not an easy one. And, you know, uh, one, one I see here is you're seeing these guys. I, I don't know if this is from the second game. I want to say this is from the third game, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, some of these, these guards. Um, and you know like i said it, what i've loved about these games is like this was the original like uncharted before uncharted for me you know i know there's a lot of people that grew up with the uncharted games but before there was uncharted there was laura croft in my opinion she was the og and i'm sure people will argue that even before then there was indiana jones i don't know which one came first i'm assuming indiana jones came first i don't know um but obviously those are like the ogs for me indiana jones tomb raider and then you've got nathan drake all within the same realm of of you know um, treasure hunters, if you will, uh, obviously with, you know, very strong, strongly different motivations, but still anyway, she's being chased down. She narrowly escapes, uh, her capture as Laura Croft often does. She is an expert, if not an expedition, she's an expert at escape. Uh, I don't remember this character's name. Uh, you gotta forgive me guys. You gotta forgive me. I know this is kind of a scuff breakdown. I, I just want to talk to you guys about it, but, um, I can't remember his name. He was one of my favorite characters in the second and third game. I liked him more in the second game than the third. I feel like he didn't have as much of a role in the third game as I would have liked. Uh, but he is someone that, you know, is a great friend to Laura. He definitely helps to keep her alive, fills her in on what's going on. He's kind of like, I almost, I don't want to say he's a sidekick. He is a confidant. He is a partner uh, in helping her kind of stay out of trouble, essentially. Because I feel like when where there's chaotic there's chaotic there's got to be a pure stability and i would say he represents strong stability in, in 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 laura's life so you know um then we see her repelling down as we see laura is nothing if not fearless and, and again it's one of the things i loved about the character we then move on from there to what one, one thing i've always wanted the games to do is showcase a little bit more of a hardcore Laura. and i think the first game did that pretty well um you know she kind of gets shipwrecked in on this island and is forced to kind of survive and it's a pretty tough and gritty Laura Croft it's one that you didn't see in the games beforehand as much in my opinion and it's it's what I liked it's I liked the direction that they were taking the character and so you're kind of getting a little bit of that this very gritty very hardcore Laura Croft and she's throwing hands look at these fists right here absolutely bloody absolutely bloody I believe the necklace she's wearing it was given to her from her father I don't know don't quote me on that I think it was um but yeah she's obviously a character that's not afraid to throw down and yeah, that's that's the kind of lore I want to see because she definitely has been through some stuff. She's seen some stuff. She's a character that is haunted by trauma, questions that will potentially never be unanswered. And it's kind of what has led her to become a Tomb Raider in the search of answers. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of Nathan Drake in a sense. You know, I think I feel like I would be surprised if Uncharted didn't didn't pull direct inspiration from like the Tomb Raider games or an Indiana Jones. Like these are all characters that are desperate for answers and, and answers that they were never given, you know, potentially in their life via their parents or whatever. Um, obviously we see another image here of Laura seeming like she is undercover. Maybe, I don't know. I love the fit though. I gotta say, 
I gotta say, I wish we had more op outfit opportunities like this in the game. I mean, we had some, but they were all still centered around the idea of her being like an adventurer. But I don't know. I was, I'm always up for a good cosmetic. We see her throwing down with, I want to say, dude, I forget this guy's name. He was one of the bad guys. I think from even the first game, he might have been the bad guy. But uh, yeah, either way, he's a bad guy. She is obviously not afraid to throw hands. But I, what I got to say here is I love this transition from her kind of racing in a car to racing to throw those hands to then racing to throw, to throw some hands some more. Like she is not like this is these are clear inspirations, clear visual illustrations that she is not afraid to get down. And uh, obviously her escaping with potentially a mysterious artifact. Right. Um, moving on from there, we've got We've got her rappelling up a building in the middle of a snowfall. I mean, there's so many illustrations here that she's just a character that is not afraid. She's willing to do whatever it takes to get the truth, to get answers. And it's kind of what, you know, what I have always enjoyed about the character. This, uh, this trailer was full of action. And like, look, she's got the tennis shoes on. Like she's just, she's a badass man. I, I gotta say much of what stands out to me in this trailer has really is really much just the the animation like the the way that laura is drawn looks incredible um and if it feels like there was this was a labor of love now obviously the story has to be good and that still has yet to be seen we haven't really gotten a lot in the realm of of detailing the story but if the story's good the writing is solid i feel like the animation is already there i feel like this show has potential so moving on from there we see her kicking some butt classic laura repelling down more buildings you know getting into a fight i love this shot here where she jumps up and obviously looks like she's about to end homie's life like there, there's no coming back from this like how do you how do you face someone who is in a horizontal position about to kick your face in half like i, I don't I, you know i don't know how you come back from this i don't know how you come back from this she's just she's tough she's built different um obviously we're seeing a little bit of the close relationships that she has uh with i don't even know who this is Obviously, it's, I don't think it's her parents. I'm pretty sure her parents are no longer with them. Uh, but she obviously has clear relationships with individuals, which I, I, is something else I want to see. I want to see Laura have these close relationships. And, and there's a lot of people, you know, I think in the games, it's, it's kind of highlighted that Laura really is kind of alone. And, you know, I think that's what drives her a little bit. And, you know, she's kind of a, a very hardcore character i think because of that loneliness so it would be nice to see more interactions with characters that really care for her and obviously don't want her to go down the same path of obsession that you know they believe her father did so moving on from there more dangerous acts more dangerous feats more harrowing adventures more trauma more near-death experiences you know what i mean like it's all here it's all here. The beautiful graphic, you know, Laura Croft. Yeah. Legend of the Tomb Raider. Uh, this is the trailer, guys. Show drops on October 10th. And to be honest with you, I'm excited. I really am. I really am. I'm excited for this show. I'm excited to share this experience with you guys. Uh, this looks to be a good one. And I know, a, you know, a lot of this trailer was the action and animation. Uh, they've dropped some other teaser trailers that I think have given a little bit more context to the story. But there's still a lot of questions and answers that I have. And hopefully questions continue to exist even until the drop of this show. I don't want to get too much information. I'm kind of enjoying the intrigue and the excitement surrounding this show. So, you know, I think it's it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. But let me know what you guys think about the com in the comments about this trailer. Is Lara Croft, The Legend of Tomb Raider, is this a show that you are excited to see? Let me know. Are you curious? Are you uh, if anything, a little cautious about it. I don't know. I'm a big fan of the game. So this, this, this show feels right up my alley and I'm excited to, to see what it has in store. But anyway, it's going to drop on October 10th. I don't know yet if it's going to be all the episodes or I mean, if it's typical Netflix fashion, I would assume it's going to be all the episodes. Um, but you know, again, we're just going to have to wait and see as always guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content and you enjoyed this trailer breakdown, be sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. I would love any comments in the comment section really help out the channel more than you know. So be sure to comment, even if it's just to say hi. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next trailer.